jumping and getting a whole hand. There's thousands of giant tarpon out here, anywhere from 25 to 100 pounds. And they give you a bucket of fish, you come out, you hold it down, and you might even get a pelican. But we're about to go out with one of the captains now. We're gonna go do a little lobstering and free diving. Stoked to be here, hope we get some great footage. I got one shot. I literally dare anyone to try to get a better shot than that. My GoPro was in the stomach of this tarpon. exciting because it happens before the regular lobster season starts. So there's two things going on. Number one, the lobsters haven't been captured in months and months and months, and so there's a ton of them out there. And number two, the commercial traps aren't in the water yet. People come from hundreds of miles around to come down here and lobster for these two days. A couple of big things you want to keep in mind during mini season here in the Keys. Number one is you have to be at least 300 feet from shore. That's real important. And number two, you can't take any lobsters out of any man-made structure. That would be bridge pilings, anything out there as far as a shipwreck or anything like that. Uh, other things to look out for is, of course, the measurement of the lobster. They have to be three inches on the carapace, which is the head. You measure it from where the horns are on the front of the head to the very back of the head. Everyone that's lobstering has to have a certified lobster gauge on them, and you have to have it on you in the water, you have to measure them in the water, and if it's too small, you have to release it before you bring it into the boat. Another thing to look out for is an egg-bearing lobster, or what they also call buried. If the lobster's buried or has eggs, you need to let it go immediately, and you'll know that it has those because on the underside of the tail, you'll see uh, large, orange, almost mushy-looking protrusions, and that's the eggs. We decided to go to Alligator Lighthouse, which is in the middle of a, a no fishing, no take sanctuary. And it's the, the wreck site, actually, of the USS Alligator, which sunk in the 1850s. Absolutely out of this world, beautiful there. And we wanted to go there today just to see all the different kinds of sea life, the different animals that we could find. We saw sea turtles in there, we saw barracudas, we saw groupers and snappers and hogfish. There's an immense amount of sea life. And anytime you're here in Almorada, if you're in an earshot of Alligator Lighthouse, I strongly recommend you go and check it out. There's a channel about five minutes away. It was still crystal clear, but it was about 30 feet deep, so it had this like dark green color to it. And we pull up, and you can see the shadows of just two or three giant, maybe five, six foot barracuda. And Captain Brian yells shark. And I look over, and right in between the two buoys, it was a giant dorsal fin, like the size of this dorsal fin. I'm like, dude, that's a 10 foot plus shark. Let's go, come on, Jimmy. We jump in the water. It's me and Jimmy. And apparently, what happened is as I dove to see the barracuda, the shark fin came out of the water and he was coming at me. So everyone on the boat is like, oh, hey, never mind, there's a shark. You'll figure it out eventually. I held my breath and dove down. I'm getting close to the barracuda, and I catch a little something out of my eye, and I look over. I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited, a lot going through my head. I've spent a lot of time in the water, seen a ton of sharks, and I'm feeling confident. I think I'm good to go. He comes around again and goes under me, and his fin, again, that giant dorsal fin, almost hits my fins. I pull him up starting to get a little nervous. This guy is just darting around back and forth and his head is doing this, you know, nod thing. And the last time he came up, he looks at me, 
opens his mouth a little bit and I can see the teeth and I'm literally, I tell myself, you're going to get bitten by the shark. Do something about it. So I put my arm out, hold my GoPro up, wait for it, and his side fin brushes my leg and he swims off. The video clip is only 45 seconds long. This whole thing happened before I could even process it properly. I was standing up on the top of the boat right here and I could see it all from a bird's eye view and I gotta tell you, considering these guys were in my care on the boat today, it was a little nerve wracking. That's the closest I've ever come to having a, a true shark attack happen while I was the captain of the boat and uh, although it was exciting, it was also pretty scary. Well again, thank you so much for having us, you know, it was a pleasure. Anytime. Come see this guy when you go to Isla Morada. It's the best trip you're gonna take. Big thanks to uh, Captain Brian for that insane experience. The lighthouse, the lobstering, the shark, it was nuts. This guy is incredibly educated, knows the area better than anyone I've met in the Keys. Pretty much anything that you could want to do in the Keys, you can find with Captain Brian at Robbie's of Isla Morada. Next week, we're going to be working with the Sea Turtle Hospital. we we'll go through their facility, show you how they take care of the turtles. Again, big thanks to our sponsors, Lava Core, Ocean Pro, Patrick Sunscreen. This has been Dalton Smith from MPI Productions, and we'll see you next time on the Florida Adventure Series.